Constantino. Pound for pound. Little Damas y caballeros, buenas tardes y bienvenidos a MGM Grand Las Vegas, Nevada, Estados Unidos. Y feliz 5 de mayo a toda la gente aquí hoy y toda la gente a México. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a huge fight weekend here, Cinco de Mayo weekend. It's become one of boxing's biggest traditions, and this weekend is no different. As Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing, in association with Canelo Promotions, World of Boxing, and Clase E Talento, are proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the light heavyweight championship of the world. We're sponsored by Hennessy. Never stop, never settle. Bet MGM, the king of sports books. AutoZone, MGM Resorts, and Jurassic World Dominion in theaters. See it only in theaters on June 10th. So ladies and gentlemen, legacy is earned. So without further ado, let's go ahead and meet the fighters. Now making his way to the stage, please welcome the reigning, defending, undefeated WBA light heavyweight champion of the world, Dimitri Well, good afternoon and welcome back here to the MGM Grand Hotel. Special, special week. Very, very lucky to be here and a part of just an incredible fight. Of course, the WBA World Light Heavyweight Champion, Dimitri Bivol. Undefeated, unscathed, won every fight with great comfort, never been hurt, lived the perfect life. His opportunity, as we say, in the strap line of this event, legacy, is earned. This Saturday he faces one of the greatest fighters of all time, the current pound for pound king of boxing, Saul Canelo Alvarez, on a Cinco de Mayo fight weekend that is going to break all expectations at the T-Mobile Arena, live on the zone pay-per-view this weekend. Before we talk to the fighters, before we talk to their teams, a couple of people that of course have great importance in this fight, we'll start with Joseph Markowski, from DAZN. Joe, off the back of just a historic event last week at Madison Square Garden with Taylor Serrano, back-to-back -back epic events, back-to-back -back huge fight nights. Canelo Alvarez, the biggest star in the sport, back on DAZN and a big moment for the platform on Saturday. Yeah, there's not many ways you can follow up last weekend in, in New York. This is definitely one of them, the Pound, for Pound King, back on DAZN. Canelo, welcome back to DAZN. Good to have you back. Uh, tremendous fight. We're very proud to be broadcasting it and we're very excited it's our first pay-per-view event here in the United States. Obviously we've seen from the numbers over the past the zone with Canelo. Canelo Alvarez is a one-off 
in many different ways, in the ring, outside of the ring, as a commercial giant of the sport, the standout pay-per-view king, and of course across America, Mexico, and around the world, just a huge star. Yeah, we love working with him. I think he's got a fantastic fight this weekend, a tough fight. We would thank Dimitri's team, World of Boxing, for their support. As ever, great partners, as ever, Matchroom as well. Uh, and yeah, as I say, we're truly excited. Fantastic Cinco de Mayo uh, night for fans across the US and across the world. This is a huge fight in world boxing. Thank you, Joe. Delighted also to welcome the president of the WBA, Gilberto Mendoza. Gilberto, welcome. We know that Saul has every belt in the super middleweight division, but this Saturday, one belt on the line, and that of your champion, Dimitri Bivol. Of course, the WBA, WBA Super Championship on the line. Dimitri Bivol has been an incredible champion and looks to defend with honor against Saul on Saturday. Anybody ever. Take that one, please. Um, uh, Gilberto, just take that one, please. This one? Yeah. yeah. As I was saying, uh, it's the 100th anniversary of uh, the, the World Boxing Association. You know, we were the first sanctioning body ever. Uh, having this fight is kind of like, uh, like, like the top of everything. You know, on, on the Cinco de Mayo date, that's, uh, we're delighted, we are honored that both fighters are doing this, especially, you know, just so close to the 100 years. Uh, and what's history, uh, Saul could be the first Mexican to become the light heavyweight champion of the world. Gracias, Saul, por, por siempre estar ahí presente. Thank you, Saul, for just being there. And Dimitri, you know, uh, it's a real pleasure to have you both fighting for our organization. You know, we have a long history, both, both of us. You know, uh, I believe I'm blessed uh, representing my organization, and I'm blessed because I saw them careers develop at some point. You know, Saul started with us 14 years ago when he was a uh, Fede Centro champion you know, on the, and uh, that was welterweight, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. April, something like this. I was just looking at, at the stats. And Dimitri, I follow him since he was an amateur. And now, you know, being him developed and having all these titles he took me, to us represents a real honor. So I'm wishing the best fight of all, and I'm wishing them, you know, the, may the best man, best man win. Thank, Thank you, you very much, much. Gilberto. Gilberto. Vadim Kornilov from, from World of Boxing, of course, and the manager of Dmitry Bivol. Vadim, I joked with you earlier this week, you know, you, you've taken the mickey out of me that I'm Team Canelo, but of course, we've represented and worked with Dmitry Bivol with you for a long time. And I always said to you, this opportunity, this moment will come for Dmitry Bivol, and you've always believed that this man was good enough to become a pound for pound great. On Saturday night, he gets the opportunity, the opportunity of a lifetime to etch his names with some of the greatest fighters of all time in the sport. And he looks fantastic, he looks ready. You believe he has a great opportunity to shock the world on Saturday. Thank you, Eddie. Uh, we, we appreciate the opportunity. Um, you've always supported Dmitry. You know, you've, you've been uh, a part of his team many, many fights. And uh, we appreciate, you know, coming together uh, to this point, because this is a very, very big fight. I actually want to take this uh, moment to announce that uh, Frank Smith is the new promoter of Dmitry Bivol, and uh, until, until Saturday night, Eddie has a chance to come back on the team if he wants to, but <laughs> after that, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate it, Eddie. You know, Matchroom has been very supportive. You know, Dmitry became a world champion with Matchroom, if I remember correctly. And uh, since then, you know, we, we've had many um, barriers that we went through together. You know, there's been some times when we couldn't get a fight, and uh, Matchroom always supported. Um, the zone, you know, we, we've been fighting on the zone for many, many fights, and hopefully this is going to be a, you know, a big, big fight. A legacy is earned is a, is a very big name, and I think this, this has to do with both fighters here because, and, and the, the promotion and the TV, because this could be a very big event. Uh, you know, um, everybody knows that this is a very tough fight for Canelo, a very fight, a tough fight for Dmitry. Both guys are going to um, supersede whatever they did before, I believe, and I, I think this can be very exciting. I um, want to thank. Uh, everybody who's involved. You know, there's been, throughout the career of Dmitry, there's been many promoters that also supported Dmitry. World of Boxing, you know, has, has been there since the beginning. Um, main events took part in this promotion and, and has helped uh, promote some of fights uh, for Dmitry Bivol. Um, RCC Boxing was involved. Um, just wanna, I wanna, you know, say that this has been a long, long road and this is, this is where it comes to. And I, I appreciate uh, to all of Team Canelo very respectful, very honorable, and I appreciate the opportunity. And we hope uh, this is going to be a great event on May 7th, Saturday night. We know to the, world, the wider world that Canelo Alvarez is always the favorite going into fights. But within boxing, a lot of people feel 
that Dimitri Bivol is probably one of the toughest fights of Canelo Alvarez's career so far. Give us a couple of words on the mindset of Dimitri Bivol and what you've seen this week. I mean, it looks like ice is literally running through his veins. I don't know if his pulse has got over 40 all week. Relaxed, ready, fully confident that this moment won't be too big for Dimitri Bivol on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, that's the way he is until we get to the room and he's all nervous and he's, you know, shaking and he's worried. <laughs> we were just joking about it in the back. Everybody's like, you know, Dimitri seems very relaxed and I'm like, that's only until we get to the room, you know, and then I have to like sleep on the couch to make sure that I'm around. <laughs> no, I mean, Dimitri's always had that mindset. You know, he's always very, very focused. His um, mentality, like he always says, is, is very important in boxing. And I think both these guys here, um, it's not, you know, the boxing skills are there, the speed, the power, all the attributes, the experience, but I think the mentality is where, what gets you to this level. And I really believe that Mitri's uh, mindset um, is part of why he's here and part of why, um, you know, and, and I believe the same, like, with, uh, with uh, Canelo Alvarez. I think he already has everything. He's already achieved everything, but then he takes a fight with a tough opponent at a higher, at, at a higher weight class. It's not because... Um, it's not because of any, anything else but proving to himself and his fans that you know, he's one of the best. And same thing with Mitri. You know, so these guys are meeting here. It's not, about, it's not about anything that's involved. It's not about, you know, obviously there's a title on the line that WBA is supporting. You know, Dmitry Bivol has been a WBA champion, but it's really about earning legacy. It's about two guys meeting in the ring and proving um, they're not afraid of anything. They're not backing out of any fights. They're not backing out of any challenge. And, and they're, they're, they're here to prove that. Thank you, Vadim. We talk to the trainers now, two tremendous trainers of these two great champions, Gennady Mashinov and Eddie Reynoso. Gennady, firstly, welcome. Um, you've been with Dimitri a long time. You've seen him try and get the recognition. You've seen him become world champion. You've seen him defeat great fighters with ease, you know, like Jean Pascal and the current world champion, Joe Smith. But this is a big challenge, and you fully believe that Dimitri is ready for this challenge on Saturday. больших лучших бойцов. Что вы ожидаете от, бой... от этого боя в субботу? Какие у вас ожидания? Дмитрий Канелов. Ну я хочу поблагодарить прежде всего команду Канелы, что они решили взять этот бой, рискованный для них. И хочу поблагодарить организаторов, которые организовали этот бой. Прежде всего Эдди хочу поблагодарить, сказать ему большое спасибо. Мачерун и Дазон, что они организовывают этот бой. Я хочу сказать, что Дима на сегодняшний момент готов очень хорошо. И хочу пожелать, чтобы бой был очень хороший. И чтобы зрители, болельщики были в восторге от этого боя. First of all, I want to uh, say thank you and uh, uh, give my appreciation to Team Canelo for, for giving this opportunity and for making this fight because I think it's going to be a great, great fight. It's going to be a um, legendary fight. I want to thank uh, Matchroom, Eddie Hearn, for the opportunity and for organizing this great event. And it, it's, been a, it's, it's been a long road that we've, that we've enjoyed very much together. Um, as far as Dmitry, um, he's 100% ready for this fight and that makes us very happy and very confident. His training camp went, went very well and uh, we're looking forward to a great, great fight. Thank, thank you, Gennady. Eddie, Eddie, welcome. Just another week of business for you to take care of, but a great challenge in Dimitri Bivo. I know that when I spoke to you about the fights, every time Sal wants to face the champions, every time he wants to create legacy, but this fight against a young, hungry, fresh world champion looks like a big challenge for the team on Saturday. <laughs> When we talk about this fight, we know that Saul always looks for fights with champions, also to construct his legacy, but he faces a young fighter who is also dangerous on Saturday, and it will be a very difficult challenge for Canelo on Saturday. Yes, it's a very difficult fight, a complicated fight, a champion que le ha ganado a, a buenos boxeadores, a campeones mundiales, eh, con muy buena experiencia amateur. Y la verdad, un, un tremendo boxeador. Estamos dando aquí nosotros ventajas, pero pues al final la historia la escriben los, los que toman retos. Y así como tomamos el reto de subir a las 168 libras, ahora estamos tomando este reto de subir a las 175 ante un, un tremendo boxeador, un gran campeón, y esperemos que las cosas nos salgan bien. Yes, obviously it's um, 
It's a really difficult, complicated fight against a really good champion. Um, I've, I've, Boxer that's faced some great champions over the years as well. Uh, he's got a great amateur pedigree as well. Um, he's a really good boxer. And people are saying that we've got the advantage, but you know, we always, we're always looking to write history. That's why we've gone up to 175. Um, but he's a tremendous boxer, and it'll be a really difficult fight on Saturday. Thank you, Eddie. Dimitri, welcome. I mean, you're up against it this weekend against a great champion. Cinco de Mayo weekend, the atmosphere is going to be incredible, but I know through working with you and the team, this is the moment you've waited for your entire career. Winning the World Championship was a great achievement, but I know you've always wanted to go down in history as one of the greats of the sport. You have your moment, you have your opportunity on Saturday night. Uh, yes, of course, I'm really glad that I got my opportunity. Uh, I asked my team many, many years. Uh, I want to fight against the best guys from light heavyweight division, from super middleweight, and now I got this fight. And I want to say thank you, Eddie, for uh, making this fight. Uh, Dozen, my promoter, uh, my promoter, World of Boxing and RCC promotion, and of course, Frank, and Frank Smith. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, I'm glad, and uh, I'm focused on May 7 now, and I hope we will make a great fight for boxing fans, and uh, I believe, uh, believe in me, um, I had a long trip to this moment and now I have to do my job. I know in the past we've talked about unification fights with Sergei Kovalev and Betabiev and you've been chasing all those fights for years, but now you come in against the pound for pound number one, you know, the greatest fighter in boxing. You truly believe that you can be victorious and cement your name as a pound for pound king of boxing this weekend? Uh, you know, to be honest, uh, every time when I came to the ring, I believe, believe in my victory. If you don't believe what you do, uh, you never win. And I believe in my victory. Why not? Uh, I, I'm in boxing since I remember myself, since five years old. When I was uh, 16, I was uh, uh, two times world champion for amateur. And it means a lot. I think... Uh, and now I have a belt. I have a 90 fights and uh, I have a belt. I'm the champion. Why not? Do you have to use, of course, great amateur pedigree, but do you have to use your size in there? We know you have great speed. We know you have great feet. We know you have power as well. But the one thing about Sal is he's not a 175 pounder. He's not a light heavyweight. Do you have to use that size as an advantage this weekend? You know, in fight like uh, this, uh, which going to May 7, you have to use all your advantage, all, all, all your advantage, and use uh, all mistakes your opponent. And finally, we know, of course, it's Canelo Alvarez, but you are the champion. He is challenging for your title. He's coming to take the belt from you, and you will defend that belt with everything you have this weekend. Yeah, of course, I, I want to keep my belt and I want to I wanna win. And, uh, and of course, I respect him. He's a great champion. And uh, this is much more uh, challenge for me to only just, not only just keep my belt and check my skills against uh, the one of the best fighter. Thank you, Dimitri. So, Welcome. This fight, as it gets closer, a lot of people talking about the quality of this fight. Of course, people talk about you stepping up in weight to light heavyweight, but listening to Dimitri Bivol, the experience as an amateur, the world championship pedigree through the amateur stage, this is a world, world-class fighter that you're facing this weekend. Yes, he's a really good champion. He's a really good fighter. We know, uh, uh, we know that, but uh, we train uh, for him. He's a really good fighter. He has a lot of skills, a lot of experience in amateur. He's a solid champion in 175. Uh, but I know, and I'm ready. I believe in my in my skills, and my I'm very confident with my how strong I am. What is it about you and facing champions? You know, in your last 10 fights, one was a mandatory you had to take, one was Rocky Fielding, but eight times in your last 10 fights. You've faced world champions with an opportunity to take their belts. You, the pound-for-pound -pound king of the sport, are the challenger this weekend going into this fight. 
What is the mentality of, of Canelo in dethroning these champions? Seems like a big motivation to you. Yeah, I like that kind of challenge because I just want to make history, and this kind of challenge is going to put me in the in the top in the in the in the books of, of history of boxing. So I I feel alive when I I I have this kind of challenge. I respect the the boxing skill of Dimitri Vivol, but it's 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 my time, and and I feel in my prime, and and I I enjoy this this kind of moment. 61 fights and Gilberto talked there about fighting for an, a WBA regional title back at welterweight, now up at 175. Is, is the weight jump part of the challenge? You know, you ruled the divisions in middleweight and super middleweight. Do you have to take these steps to give yourself bigger challenge, almost oversized in this weight class? Yes, because I beat all the champions in 168, so... Uh, for now, I'm, I'm okay in that way, right? I need to take other challenge for my for myself, not for not just for my history. For I, I I need to feel that kind of challenge, and to go up in 175 and have the opportunity to 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 win other uh, title is is amazing for me. And closing off, the mindset of Canelo Alvarez having achieved everything you could only have dreamed of as a young fighter. You see that in the eyes of Dimitri Bivol, that chance to create greatness for himself that you have. Legacy is earned, we say in this, and you know that he will be bringing everything to you, but the hunger still burns so deeply within your heart for, for this sport of boxing. Yeah, no, I know. He's gonna bring everything, and, and, and I like the idea, because uh, the only thing I want is bring a really good fight, and 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 put everything in the boxing history. Really good fight is gonna be there in the boxing books. So um, he's very confident, I'm very confident that's gonna be a really good fight. And finally, we know your Mexican fans are course, so important to your journey. Last Cinco de Mayo, we were at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium, it was incredible, but back in Las Vegas, Cinco de Mayo weekend, it's gonna be very special. The weigh-in tomorrow and of course, fight night on Saturday. Yeah, it's very special for me. And I feel proud uh, to represent my country in this this weekend on Cinco de Mayo weekend. Is just I feel I feel blessed uh, representing my my country in this weekend. So thank you so much and and uh, for all the support and and I can't wait. Thank you, Sal. I love boxing, and this is an incredible, incredible fight. The pound for pound king of the sport of boxing, Canelo Alvarez, once again steps up in weight outside of his comfort zone to challenge, in my opinion, the best 175 pounder in the world. He challenges the world champion, Dimitri Bivol, this Saturday at the T-Mobile Arena, live and exclusive on DAZN pay-per-view. We look forward to an incredible event. We thank the media, we thank all our partners. This is a special moment for the sport. Tune in and enjoy what I believe will be an incredible fight this weekend in Las Vegas. Thank you very much.